so-called endocrine disruptor, which means that they disrupt some of the um, some of the uh, action of the hormones in our body. That's what we call endocrine uh, disruptors. Uh, you know, hormones are messengers in our body. They they are. Uh, sent from one tissue to the other as an information. I mean, it's really a communication uh, tool that we have in our bodies. And if you disrupt the communication, we know that it's not so good. So bisphenol A is an endocrine disruptor, or at least a, a very likely endocrine disruptor. And we are finding that bisphenol S and bisphenol F, the substances, are also endocrine disruptors. But there, there are a number of studies that have uh, addressed the health effects of, of bisphenol. And um, we believe now that uh, exposure to bisphenol could um, uh, increase the uh, likelihood of having some chronic diseases such as uh, metabolic diseases. It could increase the risk of infertility or uh, problems with, uh, with birth weight. Uh, there are also arguments to say that it may be associated with cardiovascular and neurodevelopmental uh, diseases. So there are a number of diseases that have been uh, associated through different studies with the consumption of uh, bisphenol. What we know now is that the average amount of bisphenol in, in, uh, in, in the population is below this threshold. However, uh, some studies have been carried out specifically in um, pregnant women and, and younger children and have shown that in some cases low level of bisphenol uh, may be uh, actually toxic. But this will be the first time we have a study at the European level and we can compare. We can compare what's happening in Eastern Europe or compared to Western Europe. We can compare different countries that have taken different measures, different regulatory measures, and see whether it worked. The other studies that are being carried out in hbm for you is to link uh, bisphenol A to health outcomes. Citizens would like to know if they have bisphenol A in their blood, but they would like to know if this is a problem or not. Mm -hmm.